Welcome to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. I'm Professor Jordan Gurton. This is Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. Let's begin with lecture number one, an overview of relativity. Uh, let's start off just by going over some basic concepts. And um, one of the first questions to, to address is, what is the principle of relativity? What is relativity? and more specifically what is a principle of relativity. Um, a, a principle of relativity basically provides a basis for comparing measurements or measurement values that are made in different frames of reference, particularly those that are moving with respect to each other. Now um, an important concept here is frames of reference which we'll see again and again in relativity. Um, let's define that then Okay, so a, a reference frame then, or sometimes called a reference system, okay, is basically a fixed set of coordinate axes that are attached to a, a point at a particular position. Um, Hold on a second, let me just experimenting with this now. Um, so a reference frame is a fixed set of coordinate axes um, attached to a point at a particular position with a particular velocity at a particular time. A lot of particulars in there. Okay, so just as an example we can draw one coordinate system with a y and an x-axis in this case and we can call this frame S. Okay, And notice that I've drawn the x and the y without uh, any special designations and we can also draw another coordinate system Okay, and this time I'm going to give primes to the coordinate axes. All right, and this coordinate system is going to be traveling with a velocity v with respect to frame s. So this we'll call this frame s prime, and it is um, moving with velocity v with respect to frame S. Okay, so that's basically just a general definition of a reference frame. V, the velocity V, can be anything, okay? I want to, I want to point out specifically that we have these primes Uh, on these coordinate axes. It doesn't really matter which set of axes you put the primes on. What matters is that one of them has a prime. What, they're, they're moving with respect to each other in general and one of them has a prime and one of them doesn't. 